What up? Um, I guess this one goes under the topic or category of who really gives a fuck about anything, especially like artists talking about art, stuff like that. Anyway, obviously I do, but does anybody? Is it really important? No, it's not. Fuck it. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I need to relax a little bit. Anyway, what am I talking about? I'm making a drawing here. It's, it's, this is Frisk Film. This is what I do my, um, those stencils with. I also use masking tape and other stuff too, but oftentimes I use this film. Uh, and I'm here to tell you now that I just draw right on this fuck and shit. <laughs> I'm trying to curse as much as possible to show my disdain for being serious. Anyway, I just, I'm, I'm just drawing right on here. I used to like make drawings and stuff and this is like transparent so I would lay it on top of the drawing that I had already made or I did hundreds of drawings, maybe uh, tens or dozens, I don't know. And then I'd pick the best ones, you know, like, oh, I'm working, you know, I'm like these are my best ones and it's like, whatever because I've changed that approach now. And lately, lately, I just draw right on here. It's immediate, it's of the moment. It's not like, oh, let me edit my drawings and find the best ones. I'm just, I'm just drawing right on here. And this painting is going on, this painting, this stencil is going to go on one of my paintings, which I've already shown, this one. So it's already got a bunch of layers on here and it's gonna go up here in this kind of, it is the upper right corner, but it's reversed on this video. So it's the upper, actually the upper right corner. So that's where the stencil is gonna go, right up in this area. Cause that pink right there is a little too unbroken. I wanna add some layerage to it. And the silver might have gone a little bit too far as well. Yeah, details. Anyway, so here I am, and I just fucking draw on these things, and I'm making a vertical kind of drawing onto that. And now I'm gonna draw it, and I'm gonna see what happens. I'm not gonna see what happens. What happens, happens. Because I've gotten to the point, and I've talked about this stuff, where my drawing is pretty automatic. You know, there's, okay, automatic drawing. What does that mean? Like, okay, is it, uh, you know, I, I've lost faith in just about everything terms of like the mind and significance of the subconscious and all that nonsense. It's, it's not important. I mean, it's, it's important, but it's not real because the mind is not real. It's an object. And like, yeah, you can ponder all that shit all you want, but you don't get any real truth. So automatic drawing. I used to think that was like a thing and like I thought it was real cool. Like automatic drawing, what does that mean? Just an artist. Oh, wait, I got paint on my... Oh, I reached over here. <laughs> this is sitting on the palette. So, anyway, I got paint on this surface here, and it doesn't matter. I could just wipe it off with a uh, rag that is hopefully handy. And uh, no biggie, move on. So I'm cutting it into a stencil anyway. So there, And it's done in this green marker. See that? That, these drawings, these symmetrical drawings that I make, that I call Atman, Atma, whatever is plural of Atman, which is the true self, individually realized by each one of us. It's parallel meaning could be a soul in more of a Western religious philosophy. Um, so these drawings represent Atman, Atma, whatever. I, I don't even know because I don't study Sanskrit. I probably never will. I just, I just know what I know, which is a limited kind of understanding of Vedanta, which, which tells me things like the mind is, it's great, wonderful, but it's not you know, I don't know, it's not really important because it's not really going to bring you truth. I don't care how deep into the subconscious you go 
or how deep into um, primal type uh, Jungian stuff you go, it's still mind. It's still human behavior or evolution of the mind and, and all these really unimportant things and really in my opinion, and there, there's the drawing. It's a little uneven and guess what? This guy doesn't care about that either. This is a fine drawing. It, it's gonna be really dope. Now I'm gonna take my X-Acto and cut it out. And talk more, blabber more on this, whatever, seemingly incoherent rant against the mind and the subconscious and all these things that are not important. Sure, they're important to some people and people spend their lives studying these things and think they're really important, but they're, they're not. <laughs> I mean, I hate to be like that, but it's just like, to me, they are not. How's that? That's better, you know. Um, uh, what is important? Realization, self-realization. And, you know, we have to live in this world, so, you know, we study all kinds of things, and we know all kinds of things, and we, uh, you know, you can't just be ignorant of the world completely. I mean, I guess you could, but I guess it's worse to be ignorant of the self. Not to say that I'm, like, realized the self or anything, I haven't. And I don't know if I will in this lifetime, but, you know, that is what I'm after. And why do I make art then, you know? What's the point of making art? This worldly, worldly activity that I so engage in. It's not like, you know, something I have to do, such as eat or, you know, provide a living for myself. Because I don't make a living off of this. So it, it I guess, you know... I don't have to do this. I really don't, but I have to. <laughs> so there, maybe this is a psychological element to the importance of me continuing as an artist despite lack of being able to turn it into a career. One, two, and then it comes up here. So I went a little too far out there, which is fine. I'm talking to myself about the symmetricality of my work. Anyway, if that symmetricality is a word. Anyway, I think it is. Um, cutting, 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 cutting. This one's going to be funky. I'm going to make it funky. Because why not, you know? Little strange irregularities work in my world. But anyway, I was saying, why do I do this art stuff? It's not how I make my living. I want it. I've always wanted it to be how I make my living. That's why, I, no, I, met, I was about to say that's why I, you know, went to art school and chose art as a, I, I chose it as my profession, knowing for sure that I was gonna make a living off of it, just like every other artist who goes to art school. Maybe not every other, but most other artists who go to art school and invest in that type of education, you hope you get some kind of return from it. You don't just go to for you know life and uh, enrichment. You know, I mean, you could. I mean, some people do, but it's uh, you know kind of expensive to uh, go to college for four years for you know enrichment. It's not a crazy idea, you know. But anyway, I was talking about things not being important. Such as subjects. Subjects in art. Like the stuff, you know, my subject. What is my subject? I am the ultimate subject. The, the Atman is the ultimate subject, which is consciousness. But So that becomes the subject of my artwork. Which is ridiculous. But... That's, that's, that's my, that's my, uh, what do they call it? That's my, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, nah, um, go all the way across this and then it comes down here. Um, yeah, like all this stuff, you know, like that people think are so important 
It's just not. You know, like history and, and uh, politics and, uh, you know, whether Trump goes to jail or not. I mean, it's fine. I want him to go to jail. Every, you know, everybody should go to jail at least once. I don't know. But uh, everybody should be homeless for a little while. You know, everybody should be fucking poor. Everybody should fucking lose their mind, completely fucking break down and just not know what to do. Everybody should be rich, you know? Everybody should be joyful. Like, this is what life is. Not life, it's what Maya is. I guess that is what life is. Maya is life. If you know what Maya is, it's, a, it's basically this world, this universe of illusion, because it's not real. And uh, the mind is also just another appearance in Maya. I'm rambling, really rambling for real now. I don't need to be focused. I can go on this jumping around of so-called subjects. It's absurd, but that's what it is. So I'm, I'm just cutting out a stencil for you. That's what this video is about, talking about this and that. Um, I don't know. Talking about things that I used to find important in art such as drawing and editing and, you know, and, and choosing my best stuff. And now it's just like, fuck it. I just roll. I just do the work. And the work is, is all good. There's no need to edit my shit. Actually, that's a very bad idea for me because not everything comes out great. Sometimes you have to be like, all right, man, I'm not going to highlight that work in my... Uh, portfolio or group of work, body of work, however you want to say it, however cool professional artists say it, it's whatever. My body of work, which, you know, should be enough. All the effort that I've put in, all the honest, sincere effort in the, not just art, in the work, in the actual understanding and belief that I am doing my dharma. And even before I knew I was doing my dharma, I was doing my dharma. I was, I was making bad choices, going down dark paths. Even those were my dharma. Those were what I needed to do. I don't believe in, I mean, there's free will to a certain extent, uh, which means that you can do the best within your cosmic karmic uh, position within this Maya. And here we go talking about karma and Maya and how they're not important, but like, like I guess they decide whether you are born again or whether you reach enlightenment because enlightenment is um, in the mind. It's, uh, you have to realize that you are Brahman, that you are Nothing but pure existence, consciousness, bliss. You have to realize that. Nobody is not that. Everybody is that. But it's just a matter of, can you realize it in this lifetime? And if you can't, better, better luck next life, as they say. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody, we all, you know. Universe, not the universe, uh, whatever it is, it's beyond the universe. Um, God, in his, uh, his or her or its projection, its need or, or desire to project outside of pure consciousness to create this illusion known as Maya, it's important that people are reborn. You know, not everybody can reach enlightenment. Then, then God would have no more game to play. There would be no more illusion to project if everybody reached enlightenment. So, if it's next life, so be it. But don't kill yourself, okay? Because if you kill yourself, you know, because you don't only kill yourself because you, you are completely ignorant of... And I'm not looking down on anybody that has killed themselves or is considering killing themselves, those psychological feelings are very real in terms of they are experienced and incredibly painful. I've gone through a lot of 
suicidal thoughts myself and times and uh, I now I have a pretty firm grasp that yeah I understand you might want to end your life you just end this misery end this horrible pain and suffering uh, that you may be going through but if you see things or if you start to dispel your ignorance by learning about karma and reincarnation and enlightenment and all, you know, you will know or you will, it will become clear to you that um, ending your human life, this life in this maya, this illusion of life, that doesn't end your life. <laughs> you, you will be born again. And since all, 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 all Eastern schools of philosophy believe in reincarnation and karma. Those are two parallels, two, two uh, parallels or two things, you know. So two things that are accepted by the, the Hindus, Buddhists, Hindus, be they dualist, non-dualist, tantric, uh, yogic, you know, um, or Buddhists or Jainists and Sikhs. They all accept reincarnation and karma. So what is the point? Here is my little, my little cutout. And, it, and, it, and this frisk roll is very annoying because it's in a roll and it, it curls, so it's a pain. And I often look at these things as like little, little pairs of maybe female underwear that got peeled off. Anyway, there's my cut, there's my talk. 16 minutes, gotta walk, peace out. Man.